Sarah, I didn't know that Uncle Jimmy died. I never knew that Uncle Jimmy died. Didn't you not know? And how come they didn't tell you over there? Yeah, well, no. Ah, well, you know. I thought we'd see Uncle Jimmy. A couple of weeks ago, you know, I'm rooting through my... I get the rosary beads that you gave me. I thought I'd give you a rosary beads. I sure did, before I came to this country. No, before I came to this country. I'm thinking I'm in America. Um, I bet you... I ever since I gave her this rosary beads. No, I, I'm not. No, I'm not interested. <laughs> <drinks, I'm not. laughs> but I, I was going through the drawer last week and I said, oh my goodness, that's the rosary bead Aunt Sarah gave me. Oh, I kept I never remember that. You don't. I said, no. I think you bought it in Glenamatic. I know I have it in Maybe if you see um, it, you might remember. Uh, I, no, I was looking through my tapes because I was thinking, and Johnny said, don't bring no tapes and stuff like that. Well, I'm glad I didn't because Brendan plays Irish music for us all the time. I told her that. Um, I, and Sheila said, she goes, I'll be Irish tapes of mine. You go to Ireland. Why do you need to bring one Irish one tapes to <laughs> Ireland? <laughs> yeah, but I had that one green one I liked, and I forget the name of the girl that they uh, sang. But, um, there's the beads. Sure. That's the rosary beads you gave me, and it was in a little plastic case. But the case is in the drawer someplace, but I found the beads and I said, oh, I'm going to pick Just you're keeping it all that length now. Yeah, but that, ah? since I went How to America. How did you think something about me all that length of time? Yeah, I remember that, that you gave it to me. Oh, it's a long well, time. Just imagine it's a long time. Yeah. You got it, I think, in England. Oh, yeah, how long have you been from America now? You must be 40 years. 40 years. You went January soon after 12. getting married, didn't you? Yeah, and after um, Jimmy died. Six months after Jimmy died. Because right. he died in August. It is. Yeah. That is Part true. Yeah. yeah. And I went to 50, January 50. He died in 40 years gone. I can't believe it. No, I'm 40 years married. I can't believe it. You're 40 years oh, married. 40 years right. married. Time goes by. That's slow. I'm just a minute. Think you'll make another 40? Huh? I will. Oh, yeah. no. Some plain heaven. I wouldn't <laughs> like, I, when I'm able to get around and them two old feet. Look at all the other still on. You look up the apron, it looks nice. Did you I make it? Uh, or you bought it? It looks nice. Um, well, I'm not able to do it for myself. I'd rather go. Yeah, no. See? That's the way I feel uh, too. It is, of course, <laughs> because if you're not able to do for yourself. You can't depend on your children. You cannot. Yeah, that's that's, mine. Well that's the way I them. feel, Sarah. Well, you I can't have depend. To keep no, at. you couldn't depend on me. Is that what oh, you're yeah, you do a good. I say you're good with Johnny now, because my eyes are. She's making me feel bad, Aunt Sarah. She's I'm standing by the me. luggage, and he gets all the tickets for oil and go off, you know, because I get it's lost. Not too bad, though. Aunt Sarah, I told my mom. I told my mom we were going. She goes, oh, I don't want luggage. I said, Ma. All you do is go for the ride. I do all the work and all the worry. Um, and that's the way it should be, right? I'm sure lucky lady, and you deserve <laughs> to be. She deserves happiness. Because she's yeah. the best worker John's and the woman. best. Yeah. I did it now, I guess. You eat. Yeah. Well, that. No, I'm telling you, she's the. You know, Ed passed away, too. Who? Ed, my husband. Did I hear that? Yeah, in, in April 9th. I heard you killed him, did you? No. <laughs> Not that time. I'm only joking. There's, there's <laughs> one time. The other way around. <laughs> I am only no. joking. I, I didn't know. mean it. I know. And he did. Yeah, he took God. me home. And he was going to come over to paint the ceilings. And I bought all the paint. And he was going to come over next morning. And I used to always go over on Sunday because I felt sorry for him. He was sick, you know. Yeah. The time, the oh, heart yeah. Was sure bad. Yeah. <clears throat> that Sunday, they were, he was going to take me shopping. But that and I noticed no, for a couple of weeks that he was real <laughs> slow getting ready. I used to take the bus over. He wanted to come and pick me up. I said, no, Ed, yeah. don't come and pick me up. I'll take the bus, meet me at the bus stop. Yeah. So he used to pick me up, then take me to the trailer. And then he got ready to go. And I noticed him for two weeks before that he was really slowing down. He'd take yeah. the dog for a walk, he'd come back. And he had the chest pain, so he oh, breathe good. Chest. Yeah. And um, that day, he, you know, he liked his beer. He had nine or ten cans of beer. Yeah. But that wasn't that lot for him. No, but he made dinner for me and he was going to play cards in the evening when he came back. Because he played, I was going shopping with my little friend Rose. I have a oh. friend 83 and we go out every Sunday together. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I was going shopping with her and I came back at 2 o'clock and he says, Oh, I'm glad you just you didn't come back till now. I yeah. said, Yeah, because we mope around. You know, I'm yeah. terrible. For that. Like today I ran into the store looking. Yeah. And um, I came back and then he made the steak and I ate, I ate mine. He said, I said, well, why don't you eat? He, he could never sit down. She said, when I relax, I sit down. Yeah. <laughs> on yeah. Sunday, uh -huh. I work all, I like, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I work all week long, and I said, Sunday's my day of rest. Yeah. And I don't work much on Sunday now, a little bit. Oh, but then I said, hey, why don't you sit down and eat? 
because I'm sitting there eating by myself. Yeah. So he said, well, I'll take you home and I'll come back and I'll eat and then I, uh, Ed and I will have a game of cards. This man yeah. that he bought the car from. I yeah. had planned to have a game of cards at 7 o'clock. And I said, okay, I'll go home then. And he said, I'll come over in the morning at 10.30 mm -hmm. and start painting. And I said, you paint one ceiling a week. Because I knew yeah. that, you know, he'd reach it over with your heart if it, 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 you're not supposed to. Yeah. I said, Ed, just do it slowly. I don't care how long it takes. I said, yeah. one ceiling a week. Yeah. So he said, okay, I'll be over about 10.30. Fine. Yeah. And he took me home. I'm putting away the groceries. And he was going home and he had a hold of the dog's leash. And um, yeah. I, I thought he was gone. And I went out to my living room. And he's laying down by the door. And um, I said, Ed. I said, uh, Ronnie or Jean might come in. They'll kick you in the head. His head was close to the door and he didn't answer me. And um, I thought that he got chest pains and he just laid down. And yeah. he's still holding on to the dog's leash. So I went back in the kitchen. I figured, well, five minutes more, I'll wake him up. I'll leave him rest a little yeah. bit until the pain goes. So I came back and I listened and I called him. He didn't answer me. The dog started barking and he didn't tell the dog to shut up because, you know, he told him to shut up. Yeah. And um, I picked up his hand. That's how I found out in the beginning. His hand was laying like this and I picked up his hand and it fell down, lifeless. Oh, God. Then I put my hand under his shirt and he was warm on the bottom of his foot, you know, to be sure. He was warm and I listened to him and I didn't hear him breathing. So I called Kevin up. Yeah. I said, Kevin. Your father's dead, or, or he passed out. Could you please come? Don't call the cops. Come yeah. first and find out. Yeah. And Kevin said, "Okay, mom." And he called the police. But before they came, Jean came, and Jean Jean said he had turned over the other way because he was laying face down. Yeah. And Jean did that CPR that they do to try and revive you. Oh yeah. But it was yeah. too late. He said, "Oh, mom, he's gone. Bones start cracking." Oh, yeah. He said, "Mom, he's gone." Just yeah. like that. A couple of months before that, Jean saw him. He used to bring the babies over to see him because he loved the babies. Oh, yeah. And uh, Jean said to me, coming along, he said, Mom, I don't, if Dad lasts the summer, he said, he looks bad. His eyes yeah. popping out. His, his eyes were. They, yeah. they were popping out in his head. Yeah, yeah. Must be here to bed. Huh? And he used to say to me, he said, um, uh, he did say two weeks before, he said, I don't think I'll be around long. Yeah. I said, Oh, you like live me. You know. Yeah. I'd like, uh, I said, yeah. You like live me. Yeah. I never thought. But 10 years ago, the doctor, Minnick, told me at the hospital yeah. that he said they sent him down to Pennsylvania to this big hospital and they did that test, you know, in the uh, oh, arteries yeah. and his arteries were blocked so bad they wouldn't operate. Yeah. The doctors notified Dr. Minnick, at the, they sent him back into the hospital and they didn't notify Dr. Minnick and they said they would not touch him, that he'd die on the table. Dr. Minnick yeah. told me in the hallway, he said, yeah. if, if he lives five years, but I never told him, I never yeah. told him. Because oh, no. I want to tell him he'd go yeah. crazy altogether. Yeah. He'd drink yeah. himself to death, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but he lived 10 years. He did. Look at that. Yeah. He, had li he lived 10 years yeah. after that. Yeah, well, he wasn't working like He wasn't doing your work. No, he did. He, on the trailers over there, he used to paint the, you know, for a few people, and he got paid well for doing that. He used yeah. to get that kind of paint that would paint the top. I don't know oh, what kind yeah. of It's like tar yeah. stuff. Yeah. And you have to put it on with a roller oh, yeah. across the trailer on the roof every three yeah. years you have to do. And yeah. a few people wanted him to do that. He used to make $75 doing that. But, yeah. like, he wasn't working regular. No. That was oh, no. uh, yeah. once in a while, and he felt good. Yeah. And he used to mow the lawn, and he used to keep the yeah. place clean. Mm, yeah. He used to clean. I in the same house. I'm and all day long, if you, like, I go over in the morning at nine o'clock, and then all day long he's cooking. And I say, Ed, hey, don't bother cooking when I come. We'd sit and talk, you know, because mm -hmm. I was attacked with the cooking, you know. Yeah. We'd go to Kmart and go burger king. It makes it like, like the wall is um, paneled. Oh, it first keeps it better. Now, what do you call it? A set of turf. Do you want to set it to bring back two minutes? Oh, yeah. I am bringing back some turf. Yeah, you don't have that in America. You don't have a good job for you. I've you still got two sides of turf. Have you? Yeah. And okay. baby comes, my little granddaughter comes, he knocks them down on the floor on the rug. And oh. nothing comes out of them, they're hard like a rock. Oh, what way did you get them? Was it's it? a crew clam bog. A crew clam bog. Should we get those great trucks? I brought them what, back 15 years ago when I went back. Oh, you still have them? Yeah. Oh, no, still I have them. I love them, I keep them by my. I have electric fireplace. That's true, don't you? Yeah. No. Don't ask me about those hashes. No. We have to. That's true. <laughs> I don't have the time. We're always gone.